stop overthinking everything. This is something that every human being on the planet struggles with, I think. It's good to think about your decisions before you make them, but overthinking can lead you to a constant state of inaction. I mean, there are so many examples, but I'm sure you can find them in your own personal life. If you just look at your life and say, hey, I'm really glad I did X, Y, Z, but I should have done it sooner. And then ask yourself, why didn't you do that thing sooner? Because you had some barrier that either was actually there or that you created in your head due to overthinking. And overthinking is something that can affect your daily life in a huge way. For example, even in mathematics, you know, if you're trying to decide what to study, let's say you're taking four classes and it's Saturday and you're tired because you were up late on Friday out with your friends and you have to study because maybe you have to work Sunday. So you have this time on Saturday and you have to study, but you don't know what you should focus on. What's the, what's the best way to study? What should you study first? Should you look at your notes first? Should you try the homework first? Stop overthinking and stop doing. I actually saw a reel, it was an Instagram reel, and my friend sent it to me a few days ago, and it was just about this exact topic, and I thought, oh wow, that's funny. I, I agree, I agree with this guy, because when you overthink things, you don't act, and then nothing gets done, right? Nothing gets done. Many people are dreamers. It's a common phrase that people use. So dreamers, right, are people who have these big hopes and dreams and people call them or we call them dreamers because all they do is dream but they never act. I think it's okay to have big dreams. I think it's good to have big dreams. It's good to have hope. It's good to have goals. And the truth is most of us never act on a lot of our dreams. We go through life wanting to do things and we tell ourselves that maybe we'll do them someday. We create some story or some excuse and we're fine with it and we move on with our lives. But if you really want to live your life to the fullest, if you really want to be the best version of yourself that you can be, you should stop overthinking things. Just do it. That's that old slogan from Nike, which I, I love so much. I love their slogan because you just need to do it. You know, if you're, if you're trying to learn something, do that thing. You know, a good example is people who want to learn calculus. You say, okay, I want to learn calculus, but I don't have the prereqs, so what do I do? So you say, oh, I got to learn algebra first. So then you go out and you start looking for algebra books. Well, what about trigonometry or what about pre-calculus? So you can spend hours on the internet trying to find the best book on algebra, the best book on pre-calculus, the best book on trig. You finally find them, but they're too expensive, so you don't buy them. And then you just wasted three hours of your life. This is a common situation that many people experience. I have experienced things like this in my life, not so much with math books, but with other things. Like maybe I was trying to buy uh, like a new microphone or something or a new camera and those are expensive purchases. So I tend to overthink. And I think sometimes overthinking is not very good. Sometimes you just need to make a choice, go with it and deal with it and see what happens. So stop overthinking. It leads to inaction and nothing. Now, I'm not saying it's not good to think ahead. I'm not saying you shouldn't plan ahead. You should plan ahead. You should think. But there is a natural tendency uh, for human beings to overthink and overanalyze everything. And I think here, specifically, on this channel, 
the audience of this channel, I mean, what is this? This is a math channel. So people who watch these videos are pretty smart. I always think that uh, my audience here on YouTube is, is pretty smart. A lot of people who watch these videos have PhDs. They're extremely good at mathematics. They have a very high IQ. And one of the things I always think about is that sometimes people who are very good at one thing, that doesn't mean they're good at other things. In other words, they tend to overthink. So it's a very normal thing for smart people to overthink, especially if you're a math person, because when you're working on a math problem, you have to analyze everything, right? You have to look at the question. You have to first understand the question. That's a huge task, right? Even understanding the math problem before you is a huge task. I I've spent hours, days, trying to just understand what the question is asking on simple questions. Once you understand it, then you have to try to prove it. So you have to use everything you know from your book, from your notes. It's, it's a process. So you have to overanalyze, right? You have to. But that's the opposite of what you should do in many situations in life. Another really good example, this is one that I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but I'll, but I'll mention it, Reddit. So I, I have a Reddit account. I have a couple Reddit accounts. And I, I just go on there, it's fun. I subscribe to all kinds of weird stuff on there, all kinds of weird subreddits. Uh, not really the math ones though. And I've noticed, this is a common trend, that people tend to overanalyze things. It's just, it's just human beings, right? We overthink things, we look into these details that don't really matter so much. So try to keep your eye on the big picture. You know, if you, when you wake up today or tomorrow and, and you have whatever you're gonna do for that day, maybe you have to go to school, maybe you're going to work, maybe you're hanging out with your friends or a significant other, maybe you have to study, maybe you have some things you wanna get done. Don't overthink and get done what you need to get done in the day right? Get it done. And I'm, again, I'm not saying it's not bad to think, but don't overthink. Overthinking also leads to, well, it's part of its fear, right? Part of the reason that people overthink is fear. It's fear of failure or, and fear of not doing it right. Like, let's go back to that example of where you're trying to find, you know, the perfect book, you know, you're trying to learn calculus, but you're, you're, you're spending all your time trying to find the best books for algebra, pre-calc, and trig. When really, you should just get a book on calculus. It doesn't really even matter which one. Just get a book on calculus or get as many books as you can on calculus and just jump in and start learning. Now, some books are way better than others. Uh, for example, there's a book um, which is really, really good for beginners on calculus. I, sh I should make a video on it. It's not even a popular book, but I think it's far superior to a lot of the more uh, common popular books being used today. So in a situation like that, it would, it would pay off to get a book like that. But for all practical purposes, any book will do, right? So get a book and start doing math and stop overthinking, right? Sometimes another one that people have is self-study. You know, during the summer, uh, a lot of people aren't in college or in high school. So they wanna learn, they wanna use the summer to learn and get better at math so that when they take their classes in the fall, they'll be better prepared. And so they say, well, what book do you study? I have all these books behind me and these are just some of my bookshelves. There's, there's a bookshelf over there, there's one over there, there's one over there, there's one over there, and there's two over there. And then I have some in other areas. And so how do I pick a book? I just do it. It's, it's perilous is sometimes I'm thinking, oh, I should, I, should, uh, I should look at a math book. Well, which one do I pick? Now I've gotten to the point where I say, you know what, I can't overthink. So you have to basically be self-aware and realize that you're overthinking. And that's really the only way to, to fix it. So yeah, don't let fear hold you back, okay? Don't let it hold you back. Overthinking is really not good. I know lots of people and I've known lots of people in my life that have had really big dreams and really big goals. 
and they've accomplished none of them. That sounds really dark, but it's real. And it's not really that sad. I mean, I guess it is sad. A lot of these people never actually tried. Why? Because they overthought. Overthinking will lead you to inaction and basically failure. Because if you don't try, in a sense, you've, you've I don't want to say if you don't try, you've already failed. I mean, you could say that. But when you try and fail, you learn more from that than not trying, right? So it's not the same. It's not the same. If I, if I don't try to do something, if I just let overthinking get the best of me, then I have accomplished nothing because there was no learning process. Whereas if I said, hey, you know what? Today, I want to learn functional analysis. So I'm going to get that book by Kreisig and I'm going to sit down with a piece of paper and a pencil and I'm going to read for two hours and I'm just going to do it. So if you actually do it, you, you get something from that, even if you barely understood anything, which you probably will understand something, especially two hours with a math book, you're going to get something from it. Whereas if you just thought about doing it and you didn't do it, you would get nothing from that. Stop overthinking and start living your life. That's all I have to say. Don't let fear hold you back. If, if you found value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe. I have another channel also, it's called The Internet Sorcerer, so check it out if you want to. I post random stuff there. Um, I have math courses, they're on my website, freemathvids.com or mathsorcerer.com. They're on algebra, trig, calculus, differential equations, abstract algebra, advanced calculus. I have so many courses, <laughs> I'm not gonna name them all, there's too many. Uh, but check them out. They're on Udemy. But if you get them, please use my links because I've lowered the prices and it helps me greatly. Otherwise, Udemy takes like almost all of it. So yeah. So check them out. Lots of math courses there. And if you're thinking about taking a math course, don't overthink. Just get it. <laughs> so yeah. Stop overthinking. Now, I'm not thinking, I'm not, again, I'm not saying you should just go crazy and not think. It's important to think. But realize that human beings, you know, we have this, this natural tendency to overthink every, I do it all the time. I struggle with, it is a daily struggle, right? I'm not perfect. I'm, I'm just like you, we're all humans, right? We're all members of the human race. And, you know, humans haven't changed. For thousands, if you go back a thousand years, I bet people still had the same fears, the same worries. I mean, sure, it's a different time. We are a product of our environments, but the same things, the same things that humans fear, the same things that humans want, the same desires, wants, and needs, and thoughts. Nothing has changed. Humans are the same, and we always tend to overthink things. We tend to overanalyze. Why? Because it's the logical part of our brain saying, hey, we should really think about this before we do this so that we do it right. So, you know, but sometimes, sometimes you just have to do it. And I feel like sometimes those people are more successful. I know I said I was going to end the video, but uh, I just want to tell you one more story. So, I had a friend who had a friend, so I'll just say it's my friend. I kind of knew her. And uh, she wasn't very intelligent. Um, she was um, just not, not a very smart person. Like, I, I do think that uh, her IQ was not, like, I think it was below average. Like, not, not the brightest person. And not, not good at math at all. Not, not, not really good academically at all. Okay, academically, this person, uh, they finished high school. They, I don't think they went to college. And basically, they're very successful today. Why? Because they just did it. They, they would just take action and do it. This person basically owns multiple houses and rents them out, right? Like, how? how? How is that possible? Houses are expensive. How can you even afford one, you might be thinking, right? Because housing prices are expensive. This is in an area where housing is depressed, right? So houses were very, very cheap, and they still are. Houses in this area are super cheap compared to the norm, right? And so you can buy a house here and you can rent it out and slowly make money. So this person did it. This person with a below average IQ, they didn't overthink. They didn't say, oh, what if this happens or what if this happens? No, what do I have to do to get it done? Oh, this, this, and this, let me just do it. So they just did it and they dealt with the consequences after. Now, this is an extreme example. This person probably ran into some problems and had to deal with a bunch of stuff. But the fact is this person is super successful super wealthy and they have multiple properties and they have a below average IQ. How? Because they didn't overthink. And you might think, well, why didn't they overthink? Is it because 
their IQ was lower. I, I sometimes think maybe that's why, right? She she didn't overthink because she didn't have the, the capability. She's just like, oh, well, I'll just do that. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, you know? And just, she just did it and crushed it and did awesome, you know? And has a great life for her and her kids and her husband and and all because she was a doer, right? She didn't overthink. And again, it's a common thing. And I do think that, this is just my belief. I think that with people who are academics like us, right? People who studied mathematics and we really overanalyze things. I think there might be a tendency for us to overthink more than other people, right? Because it's part of what you do. When you're doing math, you have to overthink. So yeah, way too long of a video. Uh, if you're still here, I hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, stop overthinking. Good luck to you.